Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily work with select into statement to copy data from one table into a new table. So this will indirectly create a backup copy of any of a table. So let's see how here we have our database. So we have AmitDB database. Within that we have our employee table. So let us go inside the AmitDB database using the use command select execute so we have reached the amidb database you can see command successful now let us print the records of our employee table i have selected it click on execute herein you can see the records are visible with id employee name employee city and employee salary so guys what i told you we will copy it into a new table we will copy the columns into a new table so let's say I want to copy all the columns for that I'll use select star because obviously star is used when we want all the records all the columns so but herein I'll use into select into select star into and the new table name so let's say it would be EMP backup 2022 okay so mention the from employee that means from the table name from employee and that's it now I'll just copy it now I'll just select and execute. Here you can see six rows affected. Now let's say I'll select this and execute. And you can see our new table, our backup table is having all the records of the employee table. I'll select it, I'll select it and show you again. Here you can see similar records. Okay, in the same way let's say you want only specific columns so here is our employee table okay so now let's say i'll just mention it again our employee table so that it's easy it's easier for everyone to understand now i'll just mention okay so star we used why because we wanted all the columns now let's say I want specific column for that I'll just remove the star let's say we want only EMP only EMP name and the salary so EMP name comma salary into the same table into let's say we are creating a new table now my back my backup that's it okay so now I'll select it and click on execute here and you can see six rows affected if I'll type select now if I will type select star from my backup now let's say what will be visible add a semicolon here and you can see only the employee name column and salary column is visible under my backup table so through this way you can easily create a backup copy or you can copy the data the records the specific columns or all the columns into a new table so guys in this video we saw how we can work with the SQL select into statement Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.